marginalization is that of a uh, thing. That is that of a thing. When you look at it, it has a double bond in between the carbon. And there is there is a double bond between the carbon and there with other two neighboring atoms that is coming to bond with the carbon. Therefore, in this case, we have to make sure that we have one, two, three, four. The four of the electron that can uh, that can accommodate the external electron that are coming. In order to do that, what we need to do is determine the central atom in more than the carbon. The central, the central carbon, the central atom here is carbon two. The next one is to write the electronic configuration of this. We have one S2, two, two S2, two, two P2. Two. We write for this as well, one S2, two, two S2, two, two P2. Then the lower energy atomic orbitals will not be involved in the organization. You have two S squared, two P2. Then you have two S squared, two P2. This is the advanced state, then you have to move to the excited state in order to accommodate the electron that is coming. To do that, the S will lose one of its electrons to P to form 2S1 and 2P3. Likewise, this S1 and 2P3. Now, when you look at this now, we are going to have X, X orbitals. We are going to have X, uh, X orbitals mixing with, mixing with three of the P orbitals. 2p y plus 2p s plus 2p z. Now, when you add this, because of what is coming, this particular one has one electron. This one has one electron. This one has one electron. This one has one electron. Yeah, because of the because of the electron that is coming, you need one electron here to come bond with the carbon, then you need two other electrons from the 2P and the two uh, from the 2PS and 2PY to form electrons that will accommodate the hydrogen. Therefore we expect S and 2P S and 2PY to meet together to form what we call SP2 hydrogen. This will form and we expect to have something like this. This is SP2 for the for the P X, this is SP2 for the P, uh, P Y then the, this X orbital, this SP2 orbital for the X. Then we will have on hybridized on hybridized uh, we are going to have on hybridized uh, P orbital. Likewise for the second one I'm showing the meet the form they form the same thing. They are forming sp2 here. They are forming sp2 here. They are forming sp2 here. Then you have a p 2pz on hybridized orbital. Therefore, in this particular case, you are going to have the on hybridized orbital. Okay, you are going to have the first one will be like this. When you have a a sigma bond. Then you are going to have a side to side overlapping of orbitals with with a 2pz on hybridized orbital to form to form a phi bond. Then you are still left with uh, this and this. Now the incoming hydrogen has atom of atomic number of one. When you draw the electronic orbital, it should be one s one. That will mix the x orbitals. The S orbital with one electron will mix with the SP2 uh, hybrid to form what we call a sigma bond, and likewise the other hydrogen that is coming. So that is the uh, one S1 is going to mix again. This X orbital is going to mix again to form a sigma bond. Likewise, here it's going to do the same thing here. 
the hydrogen that is coming, the X orbital from the hydrogen that is coming has one electron will move there to form the sigma bond. This hydrogen one, that is one S one. Then here two, we are going to have what we call a hydrogen two, and one two S one. That is one S one S one. To miss here to form another uh, sigma bond. This X uh, orbital. Now, when this happens, we are going to have something like this. We are going to have something like this. The first one will be sigma bond, the other one will be pi bond. Then we are going to have something like this. This one is going to be sigma bond because they are using S to S to overlap. Here, so you are going to have another sigma bond using S to S to overlap. Here, you are going to have another sigma bond using S to S to overlap. Then, here, you are going to have another sigma bond using S to S using S to S to overlap along the synuclear atom. Therefore, in this particular case, we call the kind of hybrid that is formed, we call it SP2. Yes, we call it SP2. Then the kind of pi we have there, kind of pi here, we only have one pi, one pi, one pi bond. Then for the sigma, you have one, two, three, four, five. Then you have uh, five uh, sigma bond that exists in that particular extent. Thank you.